So last but not least, it's a painting called Monopoly, and I definitely think it's my weirdest one. It has to do with corn and the monopoly that is the corn industry. Corn is the monocrop that defines the United States. Um, it, it's basically where uh, the majority of the world's corn is grown. It's in pretty much everything. It's in alcohol, cosmetics, plastics, biodegradable, new biodegradable plastics. I mean, it's literally everything. We are corn. Um, but that monopoly extends not just to these products, but the, the land use as well. Um, you know, as a monocrop, we're, we're, we're basically squashing biodiversity and not just in farming biodiversity, um, but basically biodiversity of, of natural land. Um, so in this small, small triangle between the shadow of the corn that is also meant to be an oil spill. We have the remnants of the tall grass meadow habitat that would be growing where corn now grows in its place. The western meadowlark is looking up and at the corn in, in maybe shock, maybe fear, maybe, I don't know, whatever it is, uh, in anger. <laughs> it's definitely feeling the dominating corn cobs. I threw in these two wildflowers in particular um, because of their names. It's the Mexican hat and the Indian blanket. And you know, when I say monopoly, again, that is also culture, a cultural monopoly um, that we are looking at as a result of our corn system. The shadow that you see here being actually squashed by a little monopoly hotel um, are, is a shadow of Teosinte, which is the uh, native grass that we think the, our modern corn is derived from. To the left is sweet corn. This is a flint corn, also uh, referred to as Indian corn. The dent corn, which is our feed corn, which feeds our livestock. This is white flower corn and popcorn. I sort of thought of these paint, this painting as almost like a, inspired by propaganda or like a horror movie or a novel cover. It's really meant to just feel like a blank landscape. Um, in cho I've chosen these sort of gray, polluted colors um, as the backdrop. 